Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, word to my brethren all around the world watching this video, and just want to say, you know, hope you guys are having a good week out there. Uh, we got Lomachenko Regan Diaz coming out this uh, coming this later on this weekend, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, Luis Ortiz is also fighting on Friday, so be on the lookout for that as well. Um, we're gonna have a lot of videos leading up to both those uh, cards uh, in the coming days, but. In this video right here, man, I just wanted to take the time to make a video a, a, a video about this past uh, Saturday, Saddam Ali upset Miguel Cotto uh, in Cotto's fi farewell fight. And I, I was while I was watching the fight in the back of my mind, and I know I wasn't the only person thinking this because I went on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, and I saw many people in the boxing world pretty much saying that, like, you know, congrats to Saddam Ali. His career is going to go forward. He's going to be in line for some pretty good paydays. But... Al Heyman blew it. He blew it for Earl Spence, man. He really, he really blew it for Earl Spence. And um, it, I mean, and I don't know why he turned it down. I mean, obviously, uh, as you guys know, Golden Boy Promotions made an offer to Earl Spence to to get in the Cotto fight, along with promoting his next couple fights. I made a video about that earlier. And Al Heyman turned it down. And uh, Mike Garcia turned it down as well. But I was thinking more about it from Earl Spence because Earl Spence is the guy that I think could be you know, a superstar. Maybe not, he doesn't have the superstar personality, but he's definitely a superstar in terms of, you know, him, him fighting in the ring. So he, he he could have fought Miguel Cotto. He could have been the guy in the ring in, at Madison Square Garden with all that exposure, with all those people watching him. And he probably would have beat Miguel Cotto. Um, and he would have been a bigger, bigger, a much, much bigger, bigger star on top of the hype here that he had around him. But Al Heyman blew it for him. And, and it reminded me of like, think about a year and a half to two years ago, um, I, ma I made a video when uh, I, I got I got pissed off because um, I wanted to see, I remember uh, when Spence was still a prospect, I wanted to see him fight like uh, Chris Algieri earlier than it actually happened. And uh, I think they had him fighting, uh, I'm gonna say it was like Phil LaGreco or like one of those, like uh, it was either Phil LaGreco or Chris Van Heerden, one of those two guys around that time. And I got frustrated because I wanted to see Earl Spence in there with a prospect. And I made a video about how I, about how I felt that well, with the way Al Heyman was moving Earl Spence, that he's going to ruin his career. And I, I I may have overreacted at the time. A lot of people were saying that at the time. But damn, that video is seeming to be more and more true every day because from a business standpoint, right, Earl Spence could have fought a legend in Miguel Cotto. He could have fought at Madison Square Garden. Um, he beats Cotto. Let's say he stops Cotto, right? Because – so not only fought well, but he didn't stop Cotto. I think Earl Spence would have been able to would have been able to stop Miguel Cotto. And if you and if he stops Miguel Cotto, then all of a sudden he's a big star. People are more people are gonna wonder who this guy is. A lot of people in the boxing world already know who this guy is in the first place, and he's already pretty hyped up in the boxing world, but it would have, you know, it would have transcended the boxing world and, and he would have he he'd be in line for bigger paydays and um people would, would know his name more. But now he, they turned that fight down, and he's going to be taking a, 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 a tuna fight to defend his IBF title against Lamont Peterson for what? A measly peanuts, million dollars? Like, it makes zero sense. And and I don't care how many of you Al Heyman, PBC people, fans, supporters, come on my comments. He blew it. He blew it for Earl Spence. And um, it sucks, man, because he's a great fighter, and he deserves all the attention in the world. He he, he deserves to be on that stage. And my, my thing is like, okay, even if he does like fight a Keith Thurman or even if he does fight like, I don't know, Danny Garcia, one of the big names in their stable, like how big will those fights really be? Yeah, they'll be on network television and that's great, but, um, and they'll do, and, and they'll definitely do a good number. But my thing is like, those fights are a long way away from happening. And by the time they actually are time, by the time it actually comes around for a Thurman Spence fight to happen, uh, who's to say that Thurman don't get beat? Or Spence don't get beat. You know, the longer you wait, the more you're risking that happening. Um, so that's what it is, man. I just think with Miguel Cotto's name, Miguel Cotto's his reach. I'm 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 talking more about the reach. Forget about the fact that if he fought Thurman, it would be on network television. That's fine. That's great. But we're talking about like reach. Who reaches more people? I mean, Miguel Cotto's got the, the country of Puerto Rico behind him. Um, if Earl Spence stops Miguel Cotto, he thus in turn gets his name out to that demographic demographic of people that may have not known who he was otherwise. So, I mean, just food for thought, you know, I, I, I couldn't help but think about it on the night when Saddam Ali beat him that I feel like if, if Earl Spencer fought that version of Miguel Cotto, he 
had the chance to deliver a more sensational performance, and he's looking at become and he'd be looking at being a bigger star. But instead, Al Heyman, Al Heyman turned it down and is making him fight Lamont Peterson. Good job, good job, Al. You really care about your fighters. Uh, let me know what you guys in the comments down below and all that good stuff. And yeah, take care.